Um, it, it is to sit in, in, in a room full of Jewish people who I absolutely vilified. I mean, I was a raging anti-Semite. And um, to be able to, I, I could say even to this day, I probably was hugged by more people in that synagogue than anywhere else I've ever been in my entire life at, at any event. It was that incredible, that outpouring of love and, and compassion. And, and uh, it was unbelievable, man. I mean, it, it was it was a life changer. And uh, it and in, in a lot of ways, it's like uh, when TM and I were talking, he was like, you know, we had all these these thoughts about the Jewish people before and all these, we believed all these conspiracy theories and all that. And he goes, doesn't it even make you feel worse? Because there's so, you know, so many of them have been so kind and open and, and forgiving. It, it, it makes, it, it's like, it makes the, the um, shame, I, I guess I would say even worse because uh, it's a, it's a good thing. It's, it's a positive thing, but it's, it's, Man, it's it's uh it it can be difficult because it's like wow, it makes you feel even worse about how you how you behave. But that that just for me, I just turn that into fuel into what into the mission, you know. For uh, now, you know, like going forward, it's amazing. It, right there, just to make a point, anybody, you know, people might be watching the show, like you know, why, why the hell Donnie and Tim having this ex, you know, guy who was a neo Nazi, not just a neo Nazi, the the most powerful one in America. Why are they having them on the show? And, you know, we might get shit for it, but that's why right there. Picture that. The next, you know, most former powerful neo-Nazi in America sitting in a synagogue with the people he hated, the Jewish people, and them coming up to you, you hugging them, them hugging you, you guys connecting like that. that that's inspiration. If you can't see that, I don't want you listening to the show. Right there, you know, if, if they can accept you, you can accept them, knowing your past, knowing who you used to be. And we can accept anybody. Anybody can change. Anybody going through tough times, if if that can happen, uh, you know, what else can I give you? You can't get a better picture than that. Am I right?